Hello, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use KOS CTL to deploy multi node Kubernetes cluster with high availability, basically multiple master nodes. So, in the last video, we saw we were in this documentation installed using KOS CTL and we deployed a two node multi node Kubernetes cluster with one master and one worker node. So, we're going to extend that in this video to have multiple master nodes with a load balancer on top of it and everything using KOS CTL command so if you're wondering how i got to this page and i would actually suggest you to follow my previous two videos and i've still got my files from my last two videos so we were using this vagrant file and if i show what's in the vagrant file so basically we deployed two virtual box vms with private network in the range 172 16 16 network okay and the KOS ctl file which we generated using this KOS CTL init command and if you take a look at KOS CTL this is the same file that we used in a previous video so basically two machines this is the controller and worker node and we generated the SSH key pair and that's the path to the SSH private key and things like that okay and we were using version 1.21.2 cool okay so what are we going to do this time so I'm gonna update my vagrant file to provision five virtual machines this time so my idea is to use three machines three virtual machines for control planes and then one for worker node and one for load balancer where I'll be installing HA proxy all right so first let's bring up all the virtual machines so I'm gonna edit the vagrant file and I'm going to set node count to five right so i want five virtual machines now so one disclaimer this time i'm going to be using libver to deploy all my virtual machines i'm not going to use virtual box because i tried this i had some problem and for some reason it didn't actually work i in fact raised a github issue so if i go to kos ctl github and if you look in the issues if you want more details about what i was ex what i was experiencing you can uh, take a look at this one i haven't had any comments yet on this issue here. worker node fails to join the multi master HA cluster basically I don't know something is wrong so this is my KOS CTL cluster configuration file you can see I've got like four machines and three controller nodes and one worker node and I've specified I want to use private interface the ETH one the second network interface as the private interface uh, but despite that everything goes through fine but the final node the worker node fails to join for some reason and I've attached the logs of the the KOS worker service on that particular worker node and I wasn't sure what's going on so that's the reason for this video I'm going to be using KVM kernel based virtual machine libvirt I'm not going to use the private network so I'm going to comment this out so all I'm going to do is just bring up five KVM based virtual machines and all these virtual machines will have one network interface ETH0 so let's bring that up Vagrant up minus minus provider libvert because I want the libvert virtual machines right that was quick it took less than a minute to bring up all the five virtual machines and if I do vagrant status so I have these Ubuntu VM1 through to Ubuntu VM5 five virtual machines all right so now I'm going to edit the kosctl.yaml file and I'm going to delete this private interface line because I don't need that and I'm going to copy this section, the master, the control plane section, and I'm going to paste it two times. Right, and we've got three control plane and one worker node. And I need to change the IP address of all these machines because we're not using the private network that I had in my vagrant file. So now I need to find out what's the IP address of each of those virtual machines and then update it here. Okay, and that's the key part. Uh, if you are not sure how to generate SSH key pair, in my previous video, I mentioned how to do it. And I basically generated an SSH key pair. And now I specify the private key here. This is the private key that we are going to use or the KOS CTL binary is going to use in order to log into these virtual machines as root user. And we will be copying the public key to each of those virtual machines so that we can log in to the machines without typing the password. All right, so we'll come back to this KOS CTL configuration a bit later, but before that, I'm going to find out the IP address of all my KVM virtual machines. So I've got a simple one-liner that goes through each of these machines. And what I'm basically doing is Vagrant SSH 
and then just running an empty command so it basically tries to SSH and then comes back and it will give you a line saying connection closed to the IP address right so so here we go so Ubuntu VM one's IP address is this one VM2, VM3, VM4, and VM5. All right, so now I need to copy my SSH public key that I generated into these uh, five machines. Actually, Ubuntu VM5 is just the load balancer that we are going to install Hache proxy, but anyways, I'm going to copy the public key to this machine as well, so I don't have to type in the password, All right? SSH copy ID. I'm using the private key here minus I to specify the private key that I uh, I'm using so that it knows which corresponding public key to copy to these machines so the user is root and let's do the first machine and the password is admin and let's do the second one password is admin and third machine admin fourth machine and finally the fifth machine right so now we should be able to log in if I do SSH minus I and specify the private key root at one of these machines, I should be able to log in without the password. Yes, I can log in straight straight away. While we are here, uh, let's also update the IP address. So let's go to my directory. Vagrant, Vagrant files, and here I got the kycl.yaml and the first machine's IP address. That's the second one. Third one. I didn't actually copy correctly. So one to one dot forty. Second one and third one is one o nine, and the fourth one is one to one dot one three seven. Okay. Let's close that. Right, so we have our KOSCTL, KOSCTL.yaml. There's one additional thing that we need to do. So we need to specify the load balancer um, so that we are specifying that all the traffic and all the connections has to go through that load balancer and not through any of these control planes directly. So for that, I'm going to go back to the documentation and under usage section, you've got the control plane high availability. And here it says how to specify, how to configure your load balancer, which will come to in a minute let's first finish the KOSCTL yaml configuration so basically you're going to add some few extra options to specify where your load balancer is so copy this configuration file and under KOS I'm going to paste it correct this indentation yep okay right so two things the external address has to be the IP address of your load balancer and then the SAN subject alternative name. So you need to specify the IP address of your load balancer, Hache proxy load balancer in two places under KOS configuration. So I need to find the IP address again. I'm not in the right directory. CD. Ubuntu VM5. Right, it's 192.168.121.59. And paste it here under SANS and also and after external address. Okay, so that's all you need. So in addition to all these usual configuration, you are specifying that the external address of the KOS cluster is going to be the IP address of the uh, HA proxy load balancer. And also you specify that under SANS so that when generating the certificates, the IP address gets added in the certs as well. All right, so that's done. So now we're going to do, we're going to install HA proxy on the load balancer virtual machine, which is our Ubuntu VM5. All right. Okay, Ubuntu VM5, that's the one we're going to use as the load balancer. And let's log into that machine, SSH. Right, so I'm in here, this is an Ubuntu machine. So apt update, and I'm also going to install the Hache proxy package. All right, so that's installed. So now we can edit ADC, Hache proxy, Hache proxy CFG. The first thing I'm going to do as what the documentation says is to change the default mode to DCP under the defaults section. 
So we have this mode set to HTTP, so change that to TCP and then go all the way to the bottom and then just copy paste this content, right? And then I'm going to change the IP address. I'm going to add the IP address of the first three control planes. Uh, right, so the third machine is this one. Paste that and then second one is 40 and the first control plane is 58. 121.58 40 109. Okay, cool. And then save system CDL restart HA proxy. System CDL status HA proxy. Yeah, HA proxy is running. If you want to verify, you can install net tools command that gives you the net stat command just to verify that it's listening on the proper ports net stat minus nltp 6443 so that's what we are looking after so hache proxy and then there's also a bunch of other ports that uh, kos actually uses all right so we are done now and now we are good to apply the configuration right so this is going to take six minutes and then i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's all done hopefully it should be completed soon all right the command completed and that was actually very quick let me check yeah it's less than three minutes okay and now we got to get the cube config file using this kos ctl command and you also need to specify the kos ctl configuration file all right let's do that make the dot cube under the home directory and then do kos ctl cube config and then with the configuration of kos ctl yaml that we used and let's download that all right that's done and if i take a look at that cube config file that we just downloaded you can see the server is 192.168.121.59 which is actually the ip address of the load balancer the last machine and we should be able to interact with our cluster now kubectl cluster info yeah that's our cluster again right kubectl get nodes and you see that there's only one node that's the worker node it doesn't show you the control planes a couple of you asked me from my previous videos why we're not seeing the control plane nodes in the kubectl get nodes command output but that that's because that's the way KOS is designed. In KOS, control plane is completely isolated. So usually when you deploy your Kubernetes cluster, there will be some taints associated with uh, the master node, which prevents your normal workloads from landing onto the control planes. But here, KOS CTL, you don't have to worry about that. The control plane is completely out of sight so it's you can't it's completely isolated so you can't schedule any of the workloads it's completely isolated so that's why you won't see any of the control planes in the kubectl get nodes command kubectl get port stash a and everything is running you see the proxy router you see the metric server kubectl top nodes yes metric server is working fine kubectl top ports yep that's the metric server yeah everything is working fine and now if you want to take it down you can do kos ctl reset type in the configuration file it's connecting to each of these machines and then resets everything and then when you restart all those machines it's back to the uh, clean state cool that's it for this video let me know if you've got any questions and if you manage to get it working in virtual box please please let me know it would be helpful for others as well i will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye